Torture Talk. All right, man. Today I want to talk about Ben Crump, Rihanna Taylor's lawyer. Before I get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate, links in the description, Cash App, PayPal. Not the best way to support the channel is to hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, share this video where you see fit. All right, man. Ben Crump. Normally, I don't do videos about lawyers. But I need to speak on him. Because he said something that, to me, is very disturbing. And it's factually wrong. He said that. Black women in America basically are being oppressed and there's no justice for black women in America. That's wrong. And the crazy, the hypocrisy in this whole thing is this guy represented Jacob Blake, who, who, has a charge with raping a black woman. This is what I mean, like, about how they just tell you anything. How people just tell y'all anything and y'all just fall for it because y'all just want to be a part of something. Y'all got to start asking questions and holding these people's feet to the fire because he is totally lying. When you say stuff like that, that's very disturbing. This guy represents Jacob Blake, who has raped a black woman. He raped a black woman. And he's representing him and he's saying that there's no justice for black women in America. And you're representing the same dude that raped a black woman. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You dudes just say anything. Y'all make up stuff. I don't care if you are a black lawyer. I don't care. You are a liar. And you make up stuff. And people, y'all listen to these people. Stop listening to these people. And if you are going to listen to them, question him. How is that not? How is that not obvious? If you're saying that there's no justice for black women in America, but at the same time, you're a representing a man who raped a black woman. How is that? How does that make sense? How does that make sense? Please, please help me understand this. Please. Because I'm not understanding how you guys are not talking about this guy. He clearly lied about the whole Jacob Blake thing. There was no evidence showing that he broke up a fight. He said that he was there to break up a fight. The girl called the police on him because he was an alleged rapist. Well, he is a rapist. And he was back at the house. So he came back to the house. But because you want to run with a narrative... And have everybody on your side, you have to make up stuff. It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. You know, it's not just him, though. It's not just him. And I touched a lot on this on my last uh my last video. But it's not just him. It's a lot of this black diverse, this black uh division. That's what it really is. It's a lot of us as black people who are trying to divide black people. It's, listen, let me explain something to y'all. These celebrities, these celebrities who live in these million dollar homes trying to tell you that black people are being oppressed in America. How do I say this without, listen. Number one, we have 
black Supreme Court justices. We had a black president. We have uh, black athletes. We have black owners of businesses. We have we have uh, black everything for the most part. For you to sit here and tell me most of the black most of the black entertainers or celebrities are are the richest. All of the rappers are black. And well, good a good percentage of the rappers are black. Matter of fact, I would say 99% of the rappers are black. 99% of the rappers that are successful are rich. Oprah Winfrey is black. Don Lemon is black. For you to get on TV and say that we're being oppressed in America, you are a liar because you're not being oppressed. And hope and most of y'all, y'all only defend criminals or just to keep yourself in the position you're in because you don't have an argument. So what you do is you say that most black people are being oppressed in America when you living in your mansion. LeBron James is black. This is unbelievable for people to say this, for y'all to say that we are being oppressed and you live it, uh, to be a black person in America. Oh man, it's, it's, it's crazy times. How is that? How? When most of the people that are getting killed or that we are defending, because every black life to me is very precious, but most of the people we are defending are criminals. A good percentage of the people that that live that life getting killed by police officers are criminals. Let's just be honest with each other. And I'm not saying that you that, that people don't change. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't help people. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is for you to say that that us being for us being oppressed or we're being held down, show me where. There's no justice for black people in America. Show me where. Show me where. Show me where. Two or three cases does not put that on everybody. You can't tell me that. I know, I'm not going to hear. I'm not hearing it and I'm not believing that. I'm sorry. You can say, oh, well, you should believe it. I'm not believing that because we as a people have came so far and we're going even further. But for people to sit here and say, oh, well, this, this, uh, we're, we're being oppressed. Disgusting. Disgusting. I just hope that we wake up and stop listening to these people in the news media who do nothing but virtue signal. That's all they do. That's all they do. Most of these celebrities and most of these athletes and most of these people, they virtue signal. A good maybe, maybe a couple of maybe a couple of them protests. Maybe a couple of them. But for the most part, for the most part, they all virtue signal. That's all they do. That's all they do is virtue signal. They don't they don't come with solutions because they don't have any. They don't have any solutions to anything. You know why they don't have solutions? Because there isn't a problem. Is there a problem with criminals getting killed by police? Yes, whether they're black or white. Is there a problem with Police officers and police officers that are bad. Yes, there are some police officers that are bad, just like there are criminals that are bad. But for you to tell me that in America, the black woman is being oppressed and there's no justice for black women in America. You got to be kidding me with all the social programs that they have for black women. There's no there's no. It's very disgusting and very disturbing because most of these people know they know it. 
but they only play it off of y'all because they know that y'all don't know it. Or y'all not going to seek out information. Y'all just going to go with it. It's the same thing they do with religion. They know a lot of y'all are not going to read the Bible or read the Quran. They're just going to, and that's how they make money. And I'm not saying that the Bible and Quran isn't real. I'm saying that most of these people, they only go off of just knowing that you don't know or not going to seek out the information. That's why they do what they do. This is why they get money. This is how they so paid. And most of those journalists are not journalists anymore. They're activists. They're telling you how to feel. That's not what journalism, uh, journalism is. You don't supposed to be telling somebody how they feel. You're supposed to just report. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to report and let people, give people the facts. Journalists don't give the facts anymore. You ever notice that? They don't give out facts anymore. Journalists do not give out facts. They suppress the information and give you a piece of something that's a soundbite or a headline that they know is going to aggravate you. They don't give out the facts. And when you do ask for the facts, they talk over you. Because they don't want people to know. It's all a plan. It's not a conspiracy. This is a plan. All these conspiracy theories, not all of them, but a good percentage of them that we all talked about when we were kids and we were young, they all came to, to light now. And now they talk about Illuminati and all this stuff openly now. You know why they do it? Because y'all don't believe it. And if y'all do, let's just normalize it. Make it normal. And that's what it is. So people like Don, uh, Don I don't, I, listen, bro. I respect you as being a lawyer and a black man, but I don't respect you as a person because you're a liar. You lie and, and conjure people up to do your bidding. That's what y'all do. I don't respect none of y'all that lie. Just tell the truth. Tell the truth. You defending a man who raped a black woman. But yet and still, you're saying that there's no justice for black women in America. You sound stupid as hell. That's stupid. Talk to talk, man. Listen, man. I love my black people, and I really wish that even if we disagree, we love each other. Because I never see, I only see the cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture. They're trying to make cancel culture in a black culture. And it's like, black people are so quick to cancel each other. But y'all don't quit, y'all don't cancel none of these white politicians who've been doing us dirty for years. I don't see y'all canceling them. I don't see y'all going on a campaign canceling them, but y'all cancel a black man quick or a black woman quick. I'm sick of it. And I'm not trying to hear it no more. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.